This guys is the Acer XR38. This is the company's 37.5 inch ultra wide qhd monitor resolution 3840 by 1600 amd free sync uh through display port you've got a refresh rate of 75 hertz five millisecond response time and uh, it's a really nice monitor if you're a gamer and looking for a gamer centric monitor this packs in a lot that i think you will definitely like in terms of build quality it's well built you've got this really nice spread out base stand that allows you to move it around and also makes it feel secure while you're actually using this monitor uh, the stand rises up uh, with a mixture blend at the back of uh, plastics as well as also uh, metal so you've got a really nice solid build now in terms of ports you've got two hdmi 2.0 ports display it port in display port out so you can daisy chain, you've got USB type C, a USB at the back, a headphone jack, as well as also at the back panel for more USB ports. Now the controls are at the back of the device and they kind of seem a little annoying to access. I, honestly, I'll tell you, but when you use it, it's actually much easier than you think. So you use your uh, finger and you, you get, there are guided illuminations on the screen to tell you which buttons to access. Now you've got, got a couple of graphic modes that you can pick from. There's just preset modes and one of them is the action mode. And that means that you get a cursor on your screen in the center if you're playing first person shooter. So for someone like me that's terrible at it, that is very useful. You've got racing, sports, user, you've got graphics, standard, movies, and you can quickly access those modes. Now you can also go ahead into the main settings themselves and access the main menu and go through a couple of things like a picture, there is picture in picture, audio settings, DTS sound, it's got a built-in seven watt stereo speakers, increase the volume there. I usually just use my headphones directly. You've got gaming and changing some of those gaming cursors out there. So you can have exact one that fits your style or the game you're playing. Um, and you've got all these different things to make it easier to use. It also has sRGB. So you've got some nice color correction if you're doing a lot of video editing with this monitor. Now, as you take a look at the monitor, the back side, really nice. Like I said, four more USB ports, USB 3.0 ports at the back. The finish of the back, I'm not a big fan. I wish it was just one color, but it's easy to basically drop the monitor down and raise it up depending on what you're looking for. You can see how easy that is. And also, as I mentioned, you've got the handle so you can pick it up and then you can spin it around if you want to and you know take it left and right or move it from table to desk. Really easy, I like that. This is a gorgeous looking monitor. That's the first thing I have to say. In any use case scenario while you're using the Acer XR38, you're going to enjoy some really nice vibrant colors. As I mentioned, sRGB, so you've got some really nice color gamut. And even if while you're surfing the web and, and going through you know different sites like say Board at Work, which has a white background that can be annoying sometimes, this works out pretty well. Of course, you can um, use Windows um, split screen technology to basically access and you know, set up your work environment as you choose. And that's why you benefit from something this size and also with this kind of real estate altogether. It makes using the monitor a really easy and simple experience. But guys, you don't care about that. You wanna see how it handles games. And gaming with this monitor is absolutely fantastic. The landscape and the breadth of the monitor really showcase how good it is. So we're playing Battlefield 1 here, as you can see, just kind of running through, see how smooth it is. Now our system, of course, is one that's uh, packed with the latest Cable Lake processor, but the monitor really shines when you have, you know, something like this running on there. You can see how it takes up the whole landscape. And this is a different viewing angle from what you usually expect. So as you move, uh, if you're sitting in different angles or even if you're watching a friend game with this monitor, what you get is something that's really nice. So either side, you can see again, the curved monitor really still allows you to get a full grasp of everything you see on screen. Mind you, don't watch or care about my terrible gaming here in Battlefield, uh, Battlefield 1. But you get the idea. Even playing a game like Doom, again, different environment and also different color settings, the monitor really showcases all those colors. They come out really vibrant. Uh, and again, you can change those gaming modes if you want to, to really match what you're playing. Um, I don't normally do that. I actually just keep it on one gaming mode um, or I just keep it on standard and it just works well for me. But you have different modes and that's what they do. They give you the ability to go in, uh, make changes, make it look and feel fit uh, to fill. Now the response time at five milliseconds is great. Um, I mean, you, you're getting a really fast base experience, especially a game like Doom where 
I mean, you need all that. You need that as much time as you can because the game is fast. The game is, uh, you know, it's really speedy. Of course, you've got a flickerless display, blue light filter built in. And at the bottom of the monitor, there are actually some LEDs out there. So if you're gaming in the dark, like in this situation here, you can clearly see as they light up, giving you that really nice um, ambient look while you're gaming. So again, as you move from game to game, now we're playing uh, The Division here, and it looks great. It looks absolutely fantastic gaming on this monitor gives you really nice feel um, the color palette also is quite matched and you get a good idea of what you can do within a game like this while using this monitor and I tell you trust me I really like this monitor um, as a gamer now besides gaming of course you're gonna be watching content on this display and how does it handle with that it really does well you can see the colors as they come out uh, this is the last video I did on the Plantronics um, uh, backbeat 500 and it's a really nice scope of course you're going to get the bars just because this doesn't support uh, this is a 21 by 9 inch uh, display but it looks really good and again watching from different angles I can still fully see uh, you know the content in the video and that's great and that's what this monitor definitely delivers for you and I think a lot of people are going to like that so if you guys are looking to pick up a gaming monitor ultra wide with some really solid performance uh, this is a monitor to definitely pick up I like the Acer uh, XR38 uh, I think it is worth picking up and I think a lot of people would definitely um, uh, have a great experience using this guys if you want to pick it up use our Amazon link down below also don't forget to like and share this video favorite this video subscribe to the channel when you do hit the notification icon to get notified about our latest videos and this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.